let's develop a website with Lovable and without the developer. So let's see what is Lovable, what it does, and what it, how it can help us. So basically, as you can see here on, on the screen, this is the application called Lovable. Basically, it's an application that can create uh, web apps directly from here. For example, you can type uh, here on the chat the, the application, you can discover the application you want, uh, click uh, send, and it will generate a code where you can use the, the code to build the application. Basically, it will build the application for you. But for us as designers, I want to see something uh, more interesting uh, for designers, and that's the fact that you can import from Figma directly a file to Lovable, and it will create the design. The good thing here, if in the past we need to send the information to the developers and waiting until they develop it and then start ping pong with them because the stroke is not exactly, the color is not exactly the same, in that case, nothing is necessary. It's take the, the file from Figma, the artboard, and directly create it. So without a lot of talks, let's see how it, what, how it works. So here is the application. First of all, to use the plugin, you need to click here on import and get the plugin. Once you click here, it will uh, send you to this page. You can install uh, the plugin and then go to your file and start to work on it. So here I'm in Figma file. Okay, I created with the uh, AI of Figma one uh, website, very basic, not something very complex that to show how it works. So I select, so I select the screen. The, the important thing here is that um, work with auto layout, okay, because it will help to the AI generate information. Uh, I click on that one here on the um, on the menu, click on Builder I.O while I select the, the screen and it will open me uh, this window. I will click on the, I will select the easy one. We can do it uh, more advanced, precise, but easy will be okay. Uh, click on easy, export to code. And now we need to waiting until it will generate for us uh, the final code. So in one moment, it will generate it. Okay, so now it's uh, create for us the designs. There's two options. We need to select one. As you can see, this version is more accurate than this one. I will select it, click on open and lovable, and let's see how it looks. In the meantime, it generated. I let you know that you have five free generation per day and up to 50 per month. So that is a great way to test this product and uh, see how in, I don't know, very, I think I think in the new future will work. I will make the handoff to the development in that way. No need also on the dev mode maybe, and it's will not need it. The, if we build it well in Figma, then we'll be able to import it to the code, export it to the code very easily. So here we have the final design, as you can see here. It's not took all the information, for example, the colors, but basically the structure is here. As you can see here, the three um, posts that the user can click, the three cards, as you can see here. It's not take the typography that we use, but let's see if we can uh, fix it. I believe it's not took it because it's not heavy on the system. So, but we'll make a test in one moment. But in any case, you can see that the, it look quite well and we have the structure. Now we need to make a small fixing so it will look like as we want. Uh, in that case, for example, what, I, what uh, we can do, uh, and that's feature very interesting, I can select here, as you can see, an element and apply a change for that. So let's take this one for the example and let's say uh, change typography, change typo. So here we have, uh, I write a check typography into LoRa and uh, for LoRa typography. Let's see if it's heavy on the database um, or not, it's need to import it. And the most important thing is that I select it from here. So I explain the, to the AI exactly what I want it will change. Okay, so it's make the change, we ask it. Uh, as you can see here, it's explaining what it does, add the font link to the HTML, configure word Twiland. And now, as you can see on the screen, we have the typography of LoRa. So, uh, although it's not always will make 100% the design uh, you wish for, uh, it's only need to make changes. But I believe in the future we'll take all the design. It's a matter of time uh, and matter of the AI model they use. Um, and I'm quite sure that in six months, one year, this will be the process. Uh, one important thing, a part of that, you can publish the application. If you click here, you will be able to publish. So I publish it and you can see it here. Okay, so here, this is the page. And one last thing, uh, we did a simple design, but you can also uh, try to make more complex design. Uh, so to generate with it a little bit something more more complex. Uh, in that case here, I download for the Finca community this uh, this design. It's called the uh, Timer Mobile App for Leonardo Eberman and uh, ask it to, de to, de to develop it. Uh, the results was quite good. You can see, it see them here. 
as you can see here, it's take almost all the visual assets that I ask it to do. Let's compare. Here is the design and that's what is developed. Look for me very nice. I mean, to develop it from scratch or for developer, it will not be take, I don't know, 10 seconds that's what we did here, although sometimes it's necessary to make changes. So this is all what I have to do today. Uh, see you tomorrow in the third day of the challenge. And if you want that I will make a video about something specific, let me know in the comments. And another thing that is important, if you want to hire me for a product design project, my email is in the description. And uh, please like and share. See you tomorrow.